uh, it used to before it called BI publisher it used to call XML publisher so it is used extensively across multiple Oracle product it worked with Oracle eBusiness suite it worked with Oracle database OBI and multiple places the kind of report it is BI publisher report is different than your BI uh, answer request although they can use together you can integrate it and use them together whenever you prepare you want to prepare business document requirement uh, you have a large audience and you like to publish your business report you can use the BI publisher report there are certain examples given over here which are more appropriate for BI publisher report so we you like to create high fidelity report a partner report more important is financial report so you like to create a financial statement and share across with your stakeholders or your government bodies you prepare a financial statement and you would like to share across to different channel maybe through email or shared folder or some way it is also being used to create a government form some vacancies and all marketing material contracts checks labels so all these kind of reports so one thing is common the recipients are high volume of users they have more recipient over here what is the traditional reporting and how BI publisher is different the traditional reports consist of data logic layout and translation together the traditional report and therefore as everything was together any modification in data logic or in layout or in translation require the entire file entire reports to be created so maintenance becomes so high as a result of this such kind of reports are they have high development cost and high maintenance cost because any modification any one of this element require the entire dashboard entire reports to be changed any requirement changes all reports will be modified and the report uh, output is exported but BI publisher report has changed the complete paradigm a complete model the reports are divided into three different pieces the three report design component they are flexible an overall reduce in maintenance cost the purpose of overall all these kind of reports to reduce maintenance cost now you have data logic is being maintained in XML file layout is being maintained exclusively and translation maintained in separate place so you have got three different places your BI publisher which works the engine which stitch them together join them together and create a report so beauty is that if you would like to change any logic any data logic chain you don't have to make any modification layout and translation on other hand if any layout is changed you don't have to make modification data logic and translation so the changes can be confined to a specific area and therefore the maintenance task cost become less This is an end-to-end -end view of BI Publisher. This is called many-to-many -many view. What does it demonstrate? You have got disparate data sources. You have got relational database. You have got semi-structured data sources. You have got unstructured data, or you may have a files, unstructured files. Maybe your flat file, your Excel document, and all. The over your BI Publisher engine extract the data from your XML file extract the layout look and feel from this part it it render them dynamically and generate high volume of highly formatted report in multiple format highly formatted report in EFT called electronic fund transfer it is extensively being used in banking side so when you uh, withdraw your statement or any kind of transaction happen between across different banks or the exchange of data be, uh, between your multiple department of your bank the the way the transaction 
data get exchanged in terms of EFT, electronic fund transfer. The, data, the same report can be exported into Excel, HTML, PDF, and XML. In multiple format, the same report can be exported across. How BI publishes different than your traditional reports and especially with your answer as well. It offers supports for multiple data sources at one time. It can use multiple data sources. Enable rapid development and deployment. Offer support for multiple output reports. At one time the same information can be explained in multiple format. And overall the, the complexity can be reduced and the production and development costs can be reduced and you know uh, the productivity get increase up. So overall cost reduction factor and very easy and fast to develop. Enable flexible customization. And it follows certain Oracle development standard and easy to use. So these are the couple of benefit BI publisher has as compared to your traditional report and answer. So the logic behind it as I said separate data layout and UI translation. Therefore you can split any modification in your data layout and UI translation require minimum changes. So you see this option says you have data is coming from XML we call this XML publisher because all information finally rendered in XML and layout is coming from Word document. You join them together over here and you render your PDF and multiple file format. Another important feature it has got an option called report bursting. A bursting is a mechanism where you like to export your report to multiple users, multiple recipient to multiple sources. So you fetch data from one system, fetch your layout from another system, render them and burst on certain events. A bursting could be, uh, you know, in the first business day you like to burst your variance report between your actual and target. Or maybe some kind of report which are used extensively. You would like to burst your expense reporting in the first business day. So, and multiple uh, targets. You can have multiple distribution channel. When you burst your report, you establish your distribution channel as email, web server, or you can redirect to directly to your print server. And you can generate a high volume of reports. That's a typical uh, architecture of BI Publisher. And you see it is designed in multiple layers. The topmost component is your J J2E container. A JTV container where you, which provide the entire environment where your report can process. So the foundation layer consists of your JTV container, Oracle, or you can use WebLogic, a WebSphere server, your application server. On top of your application server, you have got report repository. It's exactly the same when you create an RPD, but BA publisher has can use RPD as a report repository, or it can use RDBMS for the source system. On top of this you have a security model, a security which sit on top of BI publisher and then you have a scheduling. So you have an additional component which ensure only right user can access your data through security and scheduling this report. Then you have a OBI core engine. OBI core engine consists of data extraction logic which extract data from different sources. Uh, rendering the layout. Layout rendering means depends upon the user request. At one time we can render this into PDF, Word, HTML, XLS and different format. And then finally document delivery in terms of bursting report, email, share a web folder and all. So you have a core logic and then you have a, a caching technique. A cache management caching services so which ensure that uh, when you process your request first time the request output get cache and subsequently it get processed from your cache itself rather than you hit your database 
and then finally you have a client tier. Client tier is a zero footprint client, a zero footprint. It means you don't need to download any active X control or any Java applet 